Okay, I'm not sure why it turned off, but it did. So let me show you the stove. I got double. There, oops. Doesn't that look pretty? It's all nice and clean. Well, I didn't do that right there. I didn't do that, but I missed that spot. <laughs> but I got it pretty well done. So I think I did a great job. It's an old stove. So it's really old, to be honest with you. Okay, so we are ready. We are ready to bake some muffins. Oh my gosh, this is a long time coming, isn't it? Let me get you put back on here. Get you tilted down. And there we go. I still got my water running. So apologize for that. This is the old sponge. Get all the yucky stuff out of the sink there. That's going to clean my, further clean my oven and further clean my, and today when I go grocery shopping, I'm going to put these, a brand new pair of these on the list. There's a hole and they don't match, so I got to get, I bought a couple of green pairs and I don't know what I did with them. And I bought one for the bathroom and one for the kitchen. So, and I don't know what happened to either pair, I don't know. All right, so we're gonna do the muffins and we're not gonna do anything else, but just wanna get this right. The sink is still wet and this is the new sponge for the week. And we're good, okay. So now, and um, just to recap, I have my uh, dining room table is completely clean. No, I don't know how to get this out of the way, to be honest with you. I just don't know how to do it. So, I think I can do it, but I just don't know how to do it. So, um, my dining room table is all cleaned off. I got to hang up the coats. That's what I got to do. I take the coats in the bedroom, hang them up. And so, I'm ready for shop grocery shopping. And after grocery shopping, we're going to groom the dog. So, I didn't want to hear me. But for now... We're going to bake some muffins. All right, let me get my muffin pan ready. I have a 12, 12 cup muffin pan. So, and I'm going to just spray it a little bit. But I'm going to use the papers too. We're just going to give it a light spray. And then it does a couple of things. If it overflows the cup, it won't dirty the And it um, keeps the other part, this part of the pan as well. All right, so we need all 12. All 12. And I don't know where I got these, but I am using them up before... I mean, who cares what it looks like, right? It's a, it's a muffin cup. And they're not bad looking. They just are weird. It was some sort of congratulations to something. Because it says yay on the bottom. Or yeah. Whatever. All right. So when I pour it in, it will knock those down to where they need to be. Oh, all right. And it says just add milk, so I'm assuming I don't have to add anything else. So I'm thinking easy peasy, just add milk, good to go, be the bottom, be done. Right? Alright, so the, oh, oh, wait, I want to make sure the instructions are 400 for both of them, so we're good. Okay? I'm using it since I've cleaned it, so I'm happy. I turned it on last night, and it um, didn't smoke at all. And I put it on 425 for about 20 minutes. Okay, I need to think about what I'm doing here. So let's make these wild berry ones first. It sounds so good. I mean, this, 
easy peasy meal, right? Easy peasy snack. Um, combine, let's see, what, a half a cup of milk. Okay, half a cup of milk and fill them two thirds full and bake them for 14 16 minutes. Got it. And this one is the same exact thing. Okay. Half cup milk. Uh, I got a quarter cup here. And I have milk. quarters is a half, right? One fourth and one fourth. Two eighths reduced is one half. Yeah, got it. Good. I think what I want to, I'm going to use this here. If I can scrape the bowl too and not dirty too many. I mean, and I suppose you could add some stuff to this if you wanted to. It's a wild berry, so you could mash a banana and add that in. Uh, you can make it creamy by adding um, heavy whipped cream instead of milk. I don't know. And it's lumpy a little bit. I think it's supposed to be a little lumpy. Kind of how you do fudge, not fudge, but brownies and muffins and stuff. I don't know why, but they do want the... Okay, so I'm just going to pour these in. I'm, not, I'm assuming it's going to make six, but who knows? It might not. two-thirds two cup full. <laughs> this would make like four. Maybe. It might make six. I think that's what it says on the package. If it doesn't, I might be putting too much in the cup. But as it is, it will fill six because I'll get the scraper out. This might even be too much for this cup. I might have to give a little bit into the other cups <laughs> to fit them all in six. I only want to make six, so it'll just be bigger muffins if I have to put more. Let's get this uh, scraped up. Oh, it's still a lot. Okay, this one could use a little more. That's got a lot in it. This one definitely could use a little more. I hate to be wasteful. I think growing up poor is how I got that way. Because, I mean, we weren't poor, poor. Before my stepdad, we were poor. Definitely. But we weren't like homeless, poor. So my mother was very good about keeping a roof over our head and clothes on our back and, you know, doing that with uh, $12 a month in food stamps, 12, back then, $12 a month. So I'm just going to clean up the crevices there. And I believe we can just put the next one right in that bowl without having to. There. Lesson the by that one could you could have used some more, huh? Oh well, we're good enough. We're moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Okay, now we're gonna do a chocolate chip one and it does say the same exact ingredients. Half cup milk. Half cup milk. That's it. I'm surprised, but okay. Oh, there's no baby chocolate chips in there. How cute. Okay. But they kind of look old. 
But I think that's because of the flower. They sit in flower. And then there was two, a little bit more, and a little bit more. Right. This mixed up. Yeah, I mean, how easy. I can't imagine these being really good or anything, but easy. And if they're good, psh. but this is process. This is a processed thing. So the, the muffins are processed, and then... They put them in a bag and sell them to you, and it's processed food. That's what it's. It's almost as bad as going to McDonald's and getting their processed food for, you know, fifteen dollars for a meal with your processed bullshit. But so I make everything homemade. So I don't normally use these packs, but I had these um, back in the back there under, you know, emergency food, and I needed to use them. And so they were back there for a long time. Let's see what the expiration date on here is. Mm. Oh, it's on the top. Okay, so the expiration date is November seventeenth, twenty twenty-two. So they're they were very close to expiring. So they're good for a couple of years, really. And then you gotta use them. So, and I probably would buy more and put them in our emergency food pack. And if we had an emergency, we'd be happy we had them. So there's two. So we still got lumpy. That's good. And now it's all ready to go into the cups. Get them in the cups. Get them in the oven. The oven's not quite preheated yet. And we got six chocolate chip muffins and six. Uh, mixed berry muffins and so that sounds good and I'm going to get I believe there's a pan that you can buy and it makes muffin tops so I believe I'm going to get one of those if I could find one of those and afford it you know the affordability on things need to be within my budget so I don't really have uh, much of a budget per se this is not going to make oh my let's see I will scrape I am making a mess I just made a mess on my and I just cleaned this shit up god that help me messy messy girl I'm a messy girl I got all over this burner I guess maybe I didn't clean this one, but I did clean a couple of them, I know I did, and I sprayed um, the oil on the pan on the stove, so now I have oil on my stove, <laughs> streaking everything, okay, that, oh, that's not coming off, okay, I gotta get under there, so I was telling, I was telling uh, my other video that these don't fit and as you can see I don't know if you can see that and it wasn't doing this last night when I was filming it but now yeah so either I got it it's not pushing in all the way it's too small I mean too big for the circular Okay, anyways, moving on. Moving on. Oh, I'm sorry. Was there a shiny object there? <laughs> yeah, I saw two. I stopped to take pictures while I was having a full bore conversation with somebody else. Shiny object. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's still only going to make six. Okay, so this in here. This should make that one good. Okay, and... Don't do that. Come on now. Let's see. This one could use a little more. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And this one is lacking a little bit. Sure lacking. 
I'm sorry, I got Sir lacking too. <laughs> no, I'm sure lacking. <laughs> That's funny. And I don't know where to put the rest, so we're just going to dump it in that one. All right, well, I think I've made enough mess with this uh, batter. All right, oven is not quite preheated yet, unfortunately. I don't know why it's taking so long. Okay, so we're going to wipe up the batter. So I try not to let things burn on the sheet itself, you know, because it's certainly not going to take that much time for uh, a little piece of batter to cook. All right, so they are ready. We're going to give it just a little bit of a pound. That just helps the air get to the top. We'll be fine. And that is that uh, for those two. Like I said, they're sitting in the same pan. We have six uh, wild berry. How exciting is that? And six chocolate chip. Which we're used to that. Up everything. Put some salt in there. I put my milk away. I should uh, make a cup of coffee, but oh, I gotta make a phone call too. So um, so I'm gonna have to uh, end it here and. When the oven gets preheated, I will put them in for 14 minutes, and then when I pull them out, I'll let you see them. I'm excited. Yay. So there we go. Okay. Have a great day. See you in a bit.